Hey YouTube, Rogers Zero here with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gokai Saber from Kaizok Sentai Gokaiger. I uh, just got this in uh, about a week and a half ago, give or take. Uh, hopefully by now you've watched the epic Gokai vlog, uh, you know, slash birthday vlog, whatnot. By the way, thanks for all the birthday wishes for those of you that sent them. And if you didn't, you're a jackass. No, I'm kidding. Thank you anyway. Um, so yeah, I got this in with the epic birthday haul and whatnot, uh, along with the rest of my Gokaiger gear that I've been waiting on. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it by taking a look, as always, at the box. Uh, now this box is a little bit longer, so it's not all going to be in frame at the same time, unfortunately. And the same thing with the Saber, so you'll just have to kind of bear with me. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Um, as with all the other roleplay gear, a shot of Gokai Red on the front of it there. A uh, good shot of the actual Saber that is in the box. Um, here on the other side, you get a shot of the key that comes with it, which in this one we get Gokai Yellow. Uh, the little symbol there is showing that it does the lights and sounds. Across the top of it, the same familiar red, uh, red Sentai Heroes that we're familiar with. Same stuff on the sides of the box. You get a little action shot there of Gokai Red with the, uh, actually with the gun and the saber, contents of the box. And then the same thing over on this side, another kind of pose shot with the saber, and then the contents of the box. And on the bottom of it, a shot of all of our Gokaiger heroes with their sabers. Um, on the back of it, showing that, uh, again, the contents of the box, how to transform the key if you don't know how. Uh, the rotation of the colors for the LEDs, which we'll go over uh, also. Uh, this one, just like the Gokai gun, you can push the uh, red color Gokaiger symbol. And it pops open the little key loading slot. Uh, and then it shows you there how to activate that. And then a nice shot of Gokai Red there with his epic sword pose again. And then the rest of the roleplay gear there. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. As always, we're going to leave it in the background for a background. And we'll go ahead and take a look real quick at the uh, Gokai Yellow key. And we'll take a look at it in the mobile as well. Um, so here is the actual key, uh, same detailing and every and uh, whatnot on the rest of it, uh, except for the the top of the thigh here. They're trying to make it look like the skirt, like it does in the show for the female Gokaijers, which is cool. Um, nice detailing, all painted again. No stickers here, thankfully. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and flip it into key mode and take a look at it real quick in the Mobirates. It does the same sound as the rest of them, except for the alternate sound when you push the middle button here. So, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. So, I'm just going to skip past the next sound and just go straight to the roll call for the, for the color. So, that's cool. You get the alternate, uh, the alternate roll call for Gokai Yellow. Which again, like I said in the in the video for the Gokai gun, nothing against the reds, but it's cool to have a little bit of difference in color. So uh, we'll set that aside for now until we get ready for the for the final wave action towards the end of it, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual saber. So, like I said, this thing is quite big, unfortunately, and uh, it's not all going to be in the same in frame at the same time. But uh, the most important part is what you see here. Uh, so this is the side where the LEDs are, um, and uh, yeah, I just kind of completely skipped my what I was originally going to say and lost my train of thought in the same process. Um, take a look at detailing real quick. The same detailing on the handle here as was on the pistol. Uh, it's kind of got that kind of ribbed feeling, I guess you could call it. And like I said, in the in the same thing with the gun, it's still plastic, so it doesn't do a whole lot, but it's nice that they included that. Uh, nice red paintwork all throughout the entire saber on front and back, I guess, uh, if it really has a front and back. Um... The blade is made of a soft uh, plastic material, so no cutting to be done here, kitties. Uh, nice gold detailing here along the, the length of the blade where this black molding is done. I don't know why, I just think that adds a little bit of coolness to it. Um, the handle on the front here, this is the symbol that you push to open the key slot to do the final wave. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Same detailing on this uh, the other side. Uh, this is actually where the speaker is. And obviously you can see here the on-off switch. Um, this actually takes three batteries versus two for the normal weapons. You actually, uh, there's a battery here and then another battery slot for here. Uh, there's two here and one here. Um, as with the other one, it's uh, screws instead of the little push pins, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why they changed it for these, but you know, whatever. 
Um, nothing to worry about there on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for the detailing. It's, you know, like I said, it's very nicely detailed. I was happy with it. Uh, it's a little shorter than I'd hoped, but, you know, we come to kind of expect that with the roleplay weapons. They're never going to be, um, you know, they're never going to be as accurate as their on-screen counterparts, but they're still nice. Uh, I mean, this fits, you know, like I said in the Gokai Gun review, I've got pretty large hands, and this fits in mine just fine, you know. Plenty of room to spare. I could... If I had an extra one, I could totally get an extra finger down there at the bottom. So, uh, you know, very comfortable to hold. Uh, it makes for some fun swinging action. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on and take a look at the lights and sounds. Again, there's the on-off switch, and it makes the same ring that you get with the other roleplay gear. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on on the other side and let you see the lights as they come on. So you get, like I said, the same little ring as with the other, uh, the other Gokaija roleplay toys. Um, as far as the sounds go, unfortunately it is a little bit limited because you only get the one sound. But you can, you know, it, it, it does the same sound. If you hold it, you get a second sound. So it just calls out the name of the show, of course. Um, and then the cool part is here on this side, you get the LEDs. Um, if you're familiar with Kamen Rider O's, you know that uh, when it's waiting to actually have the Henshin sound go off for the O's driver, it scrolls through and cycles through different colors uh, as it makes the noise. And each time you press the button here for the sword sound, it cycles through and goes to a different color. So we'll take a look at that real quick. So it's pretty neat. It cycles through seven different colors there. Um, but as far as it goes, like I said, it's pretty limited, unfortunately, in the sound. And that's pretty much it for the main, I guess, the main function of it. Um, the other fa the other cool factor that you get, of course, is with the, uh, the final wave and all that stuff. So here's the button here that you push, and it makes the key loading slot pop open. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. You get that same, like, shotgun sound, cocking noise. And then this one, I can't remember how they do it in the show. I don't know if they hold it upside down or sideways or whatnot, but you have to put the key in backwards from what most normal, uh, the normal way that we're used to it with the uh, Mobirates and the Gokai gun. Uh, normally you would put it in this way with, well, I guess depending on how you hold it, normally you would put it in this way with the, uh, you know, the little symbol there for whatever Sentai you're putting in, uh, you know, it would be facing you. But for this one, you put it in backwards. So, go ahead and turn that in there, uh, or stick it in there, I should say. You don't get any sound. Same thing with the Gokai gun. When you turn it, you get that. And then once you pop the key loader, or key slot, up in, uh, back up into the actual blade, you get this. And you get that same kind of power-up sound, and it cycles through the LED lights. And then once you hit the button on the handle, you get this. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can keep hitting it and keep getting that sound, which I'll turn it around here so maybe you can hear it a little better this time. And you can just keep pushing it over and over, and you'll keep getting that same sound. Um, and that's pretty much it for it. Um, you hit the button again, unlock, unlock the little key slot there. You do get the power down sound, and then when you push it back, you get that kind of repowered up sound, I guess you could call it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Gokai Saber. Um, overall, I still think it was a really fun, it's a really fun roleplay toy. I am glad that I picked it up because I am absolutely, uh, I love Gokaiger. You know, I think it's a fantastic series so far and I'm anxious to see more of it. Um, this one is possibly one that you might be able to skip. Um, obviously I didn't. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the Gokai Gun, which if you already watched that video, you heard me talk about that. However, that's not to say there's anything wrong with this one. It's just not as much fun, in my opinion, as the Gokai Gun. However, you know, if you're collecting the keys and if you're just an absolute fan and that's about Gokai, you're obviously probably going to pick it up anyway. So keep that in mind if you're if you're kind of on the fence about it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, as always, please leave those. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com. 
Uh, you can follow me now on Twitter, twitter.com slash router zero. And uh, that's going to do it. So hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.